Hello, this is Mark with Bailey Software. This tutorial will show how to use the data register. The data register is where you work with all your transaction and pricing data for your investments. You can access the data register in a variety of ways. Uh, from within the portfolio editor window, if you double click on an investment, it'll open the data register. Or you can get to it from within any window under the edit menu, go to all data, or you can use the toolbar button right here, the data register button. Any of these methods will get you into the data register. So let's open up the data register. Uh, once you're in the data register, at, along the top you'll see three drop down boxes for the sub portfolio, investment, and data type. You can choose the investment that you're going to work on for whatever sub portfolio you have selected. All the transactions are shown for a single investment at a time. You can work with any investment from any sub-portfolio and filter by any data type that you want. For example, these are our sub-portfolios. If we pick, pick one, we can view all the transactions for any investment within that sub-portfolio. If we select the top-level sub-portfolio, we can see any of our open investments. Once you've selected your investment, you can choose the data type that you want to display. You can look at different data types for your investment. For example, you can see recorded closing prices. You can see all the transactions, notes, or price alerts. Within all transactions, you can also narrow it down and only show certain types of transactions. These subcategories are, you can see, are indented. So, for example, share transactions are only transactions that affect the share balance of your investment. So, if we look at all transactions, we see we have dividends, purchases, redemptions. But if we look at only share transactions, we only see purchases, redemptions. We'll also see any uh, transfer transactions or reinvestments. If you own, and note when you're in share transactions, there are no plain dividends. If you want to see only uh, distributions, select the distributions data type, and then you only see that type of data. You don't see any purchases or redemptions. It's just a way to filter out the type of data that you're viewing. But if you want to see all of your transactions at once, just choose all transactions, and then you'll see everything. You can also show like only purchases or only redemptions. You can view uh, if you want to see any splits that you have recorded or any investment notes. You can see those only or uh, price alerts are also available. Under the data type there are also prices. The prices data type is showing all the recorded closing price data for every day as well as the open, high, low, and volume data. The list of your data can be sorted by any displayed column. Notice here we're sorting by descending date and that the sort arrow is shown in the date column right here. If you click on date again it will toggle uh, to, short, to sort by ascending date. So you have the earliest date first and then the latest date. You can sort by any column that you want just by clicking on that column's header and toggle between ascending and descending uh, by clicking on the same column again. To create a new transaction, just press the New button and then select the type of transaction that you want. To modify or delete one of the listed transactions, just select it from the list and then use the edit or delete button or you can right mouse click on it and choose edit or delete. If you want to operate on more than one transaction at a time, you can select multiple transactions using the standard control and shift keys. If I hold down control, I can select additional items or if I hold down shift I can select a whole range and then I could delete that 
all those if I wanted. The data register can be resized so that you can see more or less data. You can also resize any column by dragging and dropping these dividers. You can actually reorder the columns by just dragging and dropping the columns to any order that you prefer. And the More button here offers a variety of shortcuts to actions on the selected investment. For example, you could look at the properties of this investment. You can also copy and paste uh, transactions from this command. You can copy and paste transactions within this investment or even across investments. Uh, common use for copying and pasting is if you want to uh, duplicate a particular transaction, you can just copy and paste it and then modify that uh, pasted transaction. If you double click on a transaction that edits it We'll just delete that transaction. Okay, that's a quick overview of the data register. Thanks for watching.